So today I'm going to record my artifact run. Gets you anywhere from 20,000 to 30,000 experience depending on how lucky you are. Can also farm some. Some things that I ran the wrong direction for, which is intense. Here it is. I got distracted by the flower. Slow down. Right here at this tent. A lot of tents on this map have a good amount of experience. This one should only bear me one. Yeah, and we'll, oh, that one got me two this time. That's really good. Then we head to the next spot. Which, if I follow my map, I'm just going to go northward. Some spots have the potential to give you much more than just one. Like, the best area is along the shoreline of Leeway. There's like a tent that can give you from like five to seven. Well, it's not a tent, it's like a little mini fort. Gonna have to kill a few of these guys. That one got me two this time, that's awesome. And a damaged mask. There's also one down here. Oh, that one got me two again. Sometimes you get good luck like that. We got one more guy to kill. I could ignore him and just do this. And say bye. <laughs> Completely ignore him. Head to the southern part of this first, at this shack where everybody thinks they're the greatest martial artists on earth and they all find out they're fakes. Which is kind of funny. There's also a fire flower here, at the third sweet flower there. You just spawn it. Here I just don't really want to fight enemies if I'm just on a farm route. Those guys spawn there in front of some core lapis. This one gives you energy, so if you're looking for energy, you can get that too. I always forget Mona's like the best movement. Alright, that's solved. Ooh, that one gave me two. I think this one usually does give two anyway. Teleport back to the same spot. I'm gonna head towards a camp. You can. Uh, I think I'll choose to fight the slimes this time. A lot of times I skip them because they're in the way, but I need some slime secretions, so hopefully they drop some. Wow. That was not that good. <laughs> Julian Chili. Vaporize reactions. Get some vaporize off on all of them. That one usually I think gives two as well. Next area. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna keep heading north on this area and then come back down south and hit all of them. So for this one, you just wanna run, jump off here. We'll be teleporting back to the same spot in a second. Well, more like a minute. And we're gonna drop onto this little hut area. Sometimes there are NPCs here. Very rarely. They're usually complaining about something. Alright, stop trying to cook. What's the other thing? Did I only drop one? Oh, that's unfortunate. I think one fell through the cracks. 
and run, jump off here. And then we'll get to the next spot. Oh, I'm gonna grab this uh, violet while I'm here. I'm also interested in that tree over there. There's an NPC at the bottom talking about the rise of the true gods and that Rex Lapis was a usurper. And I want to know what that's all about. I hope that has something to do with 1.1. That'll date this video. <laughs> Another interesting thing about this spot, sometimes there's just thieves here. And then a lot of the times there aren't. Maybe it's only the first time, but I feel like I've encountered them twice. Back to that same point at Mount Elzing. The goal is to basically get this done in less than 15 minutes. This shouldn't be too much of your day. But, uh, I, if I had jumped correctly, I would have gotten this immediately. Get the flower along with it. Mm -hmm. Another house down here that's going to have a few artifacts. I think I need the house. Yeah, I'm a little off. Ooh, that one gave two this time. That one gave two as well. That's very good luck. Might as well grab this. Switch to Mona. We're gonna run up to this valley up here. And this area ahead is actually a very good area if you're trying to farm in, uh, not insignias, the coins. The, like the uh, treasure hunter coins. This whole area, if you keep going through the maze of this area, it's just filled with them. I don't have to kill these guys. I could have just ran in and grabbed what I wanted and got out. But I would like some drops. So uh, it usually only yields one. Not incredibly worth it. In fact, one of the least valued ones. And in fact, I do I do not actually do the ones with the lowest amount of value. Like, I don't even touch them. There's some that are, like, on top of mountains. I'm not going to touch those. Those are truly a waste of time. Coming this way, there's usually, like, two violet grass along there. And some core lapis down the mountain. But I came here the other day because I had a daily. So... In this exact spot. Oops, I'm missing that one. That's unfortunate. Oh, that's unfortunate. He hit me. After. I got two. Oh, some of the coins got lost over here. Yeah. The one thing I don't like about the ultimates in this game is sometimes they do like they just did. They don't aim the direction that I'm facing. I'd rather them aim the direction I'm facing than try to auto-aim for me. Just throw some healing out just so I don't have to... Oh, okay. Thanks for climbing this tree, Diluc. There's also usually Core Lapis right here, like I mentioned before. But since I was in the area the other day, I decided to... Okay, only one. Two on that one. These have the opportunity for up to two. Now this one is the best spot. This teleport waypoint that's to the northwest of Wangshuin. I don't even know what to call it. It's just the shoreline for me. This has the greatest outcome of artifacts. And a pretty decent boss farm route. Like, I'll show off the bosses too. Like, come over here from this guy real quick. I just five-star cheese it, obviously. Just because I'm lucky enough to have access to a bunch of five-stars. But you can basically keep them f uh, with freeze cheesing as well. Here I'm just spamming Mona. I could just run up and beat his face with the loot, but... But why not? If you can just do it.
Oh. That was rude, sir. Just do the same thing. Sometimes they'll just get trapped in the water like that, too. And just decide to, that they're not gonna fight you. Up here, there's another boss that you can grab. Well, I, I say boss, it's just more like these field bosses. Here it is. You're gonna hear a lot of clicking because my mic is not the best, and it, can, it just captures all the sounds in the room. Oh, energy nectar, very nice. No. Also, there's a lot of times a daily commit, not a daily, but uh, like you know the random spawning events will spawn where that stork is. I've gotten the rock shields one. I've gotten the hilly turtles, just randomly fighting one. I've gotten like random Fatui agent there. And the artifact is always right here. Ah, that was rude of you. Somehow he died. Oh, the little cloud thing shot him. For hitting me. How dare you. Then over here, this boat. Please. One issue I found with specifically taller characters like Kaya and Deluc. Is that because they're so tall, instead of like allowing you to press F, they try to step up on things, on top of them. Alright. There's also random crates around here with like iron and vegetables if you if you want those. My inventory's getting full and I no longer have like a way to just keep all that stuff. I really hope to give us a way to uh, store a lot of stuff. Because it's going to be really annoying. When I had to be like, oh, I pre-farmed 900 items, but now my inventory is full. Like, huh. So you can't pre-farm to actually, you know, be able to use the characters. And this is the best spot in the game, by the way. I think I just got like six right there. Then we'll hit this area. And that should finish off this island, and we'll go to the next one. And by the way, they're all basically in Liyue. And there's also a random, like, ghost spawning world mission that happens here. Like, where it spawns and despawns, like, instantaneously. I found that bug. I was very confused as it kept happening in front of my face one time. More a weasel or squirrel. Right, here, here, here. Is it run that way? He, by the way, he actually has the opportunity to play dead, if people don't know about that. Where I've hit him and he's just gonna like lay down, had the death sound, and he gets back up and runs away. There's Coral Apis that usually spawns there along with some slimes. We're gonna have to fight a few hilly turtles over here for our right to have stuff. Should be one coming at me in a second here. Leave me alone. No touching. Alright, another set here. Then, this one's not one, but, oh, one of these gives energy. I think it's this one. This one gives energy. Yep. And over here's the last artifact of this island. I call it island. It's really a mainland. There's also, if you're interested, on top of this mountain up here, there's more artifacts. Only one, though, and it's really just out of your way and not worth it. So the next location we're going to go to, we're going to go ahead and take care of the minion village area. It only has one spawn location, but that can spawn anywhere from one to three, I think. Based on my experience. So hoping I hit AR-45 in the next week or so. I don't think it'll happen, but well, I still haven't done some story missions, so I could probably pump those out. I just want to be able to farm like legendary artifacts more consistently than just random luck or random annoyance. There's nothing worse than getting a legendary artifact and seeing like defense, defense, defense. Ah, gave me two today. That's good. 
Let's take care of Wang Shuin, then we'll go to Salter Eye. Sounds like Salter Eye. <laughs> Wang Shuin. Over here at this singular crate over here. It's the only one out of all the crates here that'll spawn artifacts. First time I came around here, I thought it was like randomly any of them, really. That, that was rude. <laughs> Slow down the farm. We go this way. These stairs over here, by the way, are glitched for Mona. If you try to run up them, you'll get stopped about right here. And then again, like right here. It'll just dead stop you and nothing will happen. Oh, silk flower shade. Nice. There's a few others that spawn, but I'll come back later and get those. And those ever so useful dendro slimes that just want to attack for no reason. Alright, stop climbing. So these pots can give you two, and this one can give you two as well. Oh, give me two. Nice. There's another spot up here. Not a lot of people farm this. I do, only because it's always a guaranteed weapon. Which, it's just experience fodder. Also, there's this energy spot if you're low on energy. It's only like two energy points, but... Oh, I was out of stamina. Interesting. I don't think I've died due to falling yet in this game. Yep, there's the guaranteed weapon. And we'll move on to another one of the best spots in the game. Salter Eye. I'm really interested in what the dungeon here is going to be. The one that people keep like glitching into. I'm not willing to risk an account to just go look at something. Ooh. Give me two. Yeah, there, I got four on this area. Each spot has a probability chance of giving you two. This is the next spot up here by Stonegate. There's also some that spawn like way over here, but you have to like climb the mountain to get that. And that's just a lot of effort for essentially, what, like one item? It has a probability of giving you two as well. This one, I think, only ever probably a chance to give you two. A possibility is the word I'm looking for. I'm sorry. This one almost has never given me two. I think that's like the first time. And just because there's an apple there, and apples are a little bit rarer than everything else. Next, we're going to go to Quincy Village. Ching Chingxi, I think, I guess it's called. And we go to Grandma's house up here. Granny Robin. And uh, rob her real quick. There's also some books in there for like other achievements that you need, I believe. I can't remember if they were there or or not. I just remember grabbing books from her at some point. And the next one is this pot. And we're going to run down the mountain. The only thing I really come around here to collect are the glazed lilies spawn here. Like once every few days. I can look and check if they're there now. They are not. You would see like just a blue standout flower. And the last one for this run. I do this like every two days. Technically they spawn every 24 hours. But like let's say I play at 10 o'clock at night. And I finish my run in 15 minutes. That means tomorrow at 10.15 will be the next time that they spawn, and that's just a bit tedious. So I tend to do just every other day. Free 20 to 30k experience. Ah, one only gave one. And that's where we end our journey. <laughs>